Yo, how's it going? It's James back again. <laughs> Bit of a different video here today. Um, of course, I was delighted, like all of us, to have F1 back finally this weekend. I've really missed it over the winter and the whole quarantine period. I absolutely love the race. Uh, my heart's hurting a lot for Alex Albon. Hope he can get back in there soon next week. During the off-season, obviously a lot has happened, and I've been really impressed with Lewis Hamilton and a couple of the drivers in the last couple of weeks using their platforms to try and address the issues of racism, both in and outside of Formula One. Uh, this culminated in a display of all of the drivers taking a stance against racism before the Austrian Grand Prix with a presentation. While the majority of drivers did choose to take a kneel with Lewis Hamilton, six drivers did not. And despite them kind of giving some reasons why, and still claiming to be supporting the whole movement against racism in the sport, there are still some glaring issues, I think, when you really don't look that deep into it. I think the drivers that chose to stand this weekend instead of Neil really made quite a powerful statement against this matter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these drivers individually and try and break down what led them to this decision and what implications this might have looking at them further. I will get out of the way straight away. I believe absolutely that black lives do matter and that there is a systemic issue of racism both in and outside of Formula One that has to be addressed. I do not think in any way that being against racism is a political matter and I think that protesting against racism is not a political matter at all. Sadly, I am not going to debate this issue with anyone. I am not interested in hearing any counterpoints to that. If you can't agree with that statement, then this video is really not going to be for you, so I'm sorry. For some of the drivers I'm going to talk about today, I really couldn't find a huge amount of information publicly about why they might have chosen to stand, but there are a few things that might lead me to make some kind of connection. So these are going to be a bit speculative, but until I really hear more from the drivers, I don't really see how one could not think this. If I'm wrong at all on any of these calls, I would love to hear otherwise and I would love to be corrected, but until I see more statements from the drivers and more evidence otherwise, I'm going to be pretty firm on what I'm about to say. Again, by me bringing all this up, I do not feel I am bringing politics at any way into Formula One. I feel the drivers that stood yesterday are the ones who are making F1 a political issue. I would love it if F1 was completely a politics-free zone, but given what's going on in the world right now and some of the drivers' actions, they've made that decision to bring it in. Not drivers who took to kneel, not drivers who have fought against racism, and not commentators like me. All I want to do is just watch cars race, but if drivers are bringing what I consider fascist ideologies into this sport, I can't stay silent on it, and neither should you if you care. Okay, let's look at these drivers. So, straight out of the bat, the highest profile driver who stood, and in my opinion one of the most outspoken on the matter, was Max Verstappen. In a statement he made on Twitter, Max stated that he is very committed to equality and the fight against racism, but that he believes everyone has the right to express themselves at a time and in a way that suits them. Well, why do you follow Gert Wilders on Twitter, Max? <laughs> yeah, the far-right Dutch politician, so racist even the UK doesn't want him. As far as I can see, he's the only political figure Max follows on Twitter too, and a quick look at Gert's page at any time will reveal, uh, mm, ooh, uh, yeah. <laughs> seven hours ago. <sighs> Where Max's opinion on this comes from, I can really only blame one person, and it's going to be Jos. Um, I think it's absolutely no secret that Jos Verstappen is a highly toxic individual. He is allegedly a serial violent thug, woman beater, and attempted vehicular manslaughterer. In one particularly harrowing interview that I've seen, uh, Jos brags about emotionally abusing a very young Max after a spill at the kart track, and then abandoning him there with his kart still crashed. Uh, Max had to, had to then get the help of another person at the track to recover his stricken car, and then he was silent treatmented by Jos to the point of tears on the way home, uh, and later Jos abandoned him at a random gas station several miles from his house, and Max had to somehow contact his mother to come pick him up. I am speculating here, but to me there's absolutely no hesitation that Max was raised in an abusive and violent environment by Jos. I see absolutely no surprise that he might have raised him with some degree of racist beliefs, which <laughs> absolutely isn't a problem in the Netherlands at all. Following Max's decision to stand, the hashtag, and please do excuse my Dutch, Niet Nielen uh, voor de Bielen was trending in the Netherlands, which means essentially don't kneel for idiots. And a quick look at this tag shows it absolutely littered with the most latent racism, although some K-pop stands did try and bomb the tag in protest, so thanks to them. <laughs> Furthermore, in the last couple of months, Red Bull seem to have had some habitual issues with dropping themselves in trouble over lack of sensitivity about racism. So all of this just swirls round into an environment where Max doesn't have any idea about racism, and he doesn't have any idea about the weight of his actions. 
I just don't think he has any clue about what it means for him to be standing rather than kneeling and that kneeling is not a political issue. But then again, when his only sources of politics are Gert Wilders and his father, I don't really see how he would know any better. Either way, I'm super disappointed in Max and I would love to see him come around on these issues in the future. Next up we have uh, Charles Leclerc, and I'm a little bit surprised by this one. Given his youth and his incredibly media-friendly persona, he's been kind of very in touch with uh, things like streaming and the esports events during the break. I think he's so far been a really good ambassador for the sport, and I think he's going to have a long and very successful career, and he has an opportunity to really be kind of a shining light for the sport's public appearance. Um, the statement that he made regarding his reason to stand... Uh, he said that he believes in actions rather than gestures, which may be controversial in some countries. This to me is an absolute cop-out and basically a dog whistle. Uh, calling taking a knee controversial I think is completely not true. The only people that think this is controversial or are offended by people kneeling in protest, I'm sorry, but they are racists. The only controversy about athletes kneeling in support of Black Lives Matter I think is completely manufactured in an attempt to suppress the movement and maintain the broken status quo. Charles' claim that he believes in actions is also a load of garbage. Like, immediately after this, he just posts a bunch of hashtags on Twitter. He sits there holding a t-shirt up at the podium, like, procession. Those are gestures. Like, what are you actually doing? Unless Charles, pretty quickly, shows some evidence that he's going out of his way to actively fight against racism, both in and out of F1, I cannot believe he is committed to actual change. While his teammate Sebastian Vettel did choose to kneel, which would indicate this might not be a Ferrari issue, but we'll look at that later on. Next up, we have Daniel Kvyat, and this is definitely a case of just looking where the money comes from and looking at his connections. Daniel made no statement as of the time of recording this, uh, um, so I don't know how his feelings are about his decision to stand, but I personally cannot imagine any athlete competing under the Russian flag would be allowed to protest this matter for pretty obvious reasons. He also has some connections that may have influenced his decision, although I can only presume. A quick look into his backers brings up Sergei Belusov, the Russian-born Singaporean head of Acronis, which is a cybersecurity firm, as well as many other tech ventures. Some of his other associates have included in the past Lukoil, the second largest company in all of Russia. Now, while there are no obvious red flags with these two, I cannot see how such large Russian companies with inevitable ties to the government would allow an affiliate to protest in such a manner. Uh, on this subject as well, we have to bring up Daniel's connection to the PK family. Obviously, his partner is Nelson PK's daughter, and Daniel is the father of Nelson's grandchild. Um, Nelson, being a rich Brazilian, of course, has to have some association with the Trump of the South, President Bolsonaro. Nelson has also not really been the most politically correct driver, both in and out of the sport, so I think it's pretty safe to say that Daniel would have upset a lot of people on that side of his family if he had chosen to speak out. But until he explains with a statement, I can really only just speculate on that matter. Another driver that chose to stand instead of Neil yesterday was Carlos Sainz, and this really is not a surprise for me. Again, he's made no statement regarding his decision, but for quite some time now, Carlos has been low-key generating some controversy due to his associations with various nationalist and far-right political figures in Spain. He's been accused of following some really quite controversial people and some pages that are home to some really inappropriate content. Uh, there was also an event quite recently where Carlos dropped a pretty heavy racist clangor at an Australia PR event. Based on all of this, I, I can pretty confidently say that I think Carlos is really not in any way anti-racist and is quite heavily a part of the problem. I like Carlos on track, but this is going to affect my opinion on him. The least I can say is he better not be singing Smooth Operator anytime this season. Maybe he can sing some Pantera instead or something. Maybe some Ted Nugent. <laughs> And finally, we have the two Alfa Romeo drivers. This might give a little bit more of an insight um, into some of the other drivers from Italian-backed teams, but it's a little bit of a mystery, to be honest. Um, firstly, Kimi Raikkonen. I wouldn't be surprised if Kimi just flat out doesn't care. I mean, Kimi's whole persona is funny and quirky when someone asks him an asinine question about his race weekend, but I don't really think his media persona is an excuse to stay silent on such a massive issue to this. Um... In my opinion, him standing says a lot more than he's ever said, really, in his whole career. Um, I think it would have been uh, more on brand for him just to kneel and say nothing. And Giovinazzi gets even more bizarre when we look at it. Uh, he made a very impassioned post after the display on Twitter, talking about basically how if you are silent, you are compliant with this issue. 
One possible reason that could link the two Alpha Drivers and Charles Leclerc together could be the Agnelli family, the founders and controllers of Fiat, the parent company, of course, of both Ferrari and Alfa Romeo. One of the senior Agnellis, uh, Andrea, is also the owner of Juventus, and he was involved in a scandal a few years ago where allegedly organised crime and racist ultra groups had a hand in club ticket sales and allocation. And of course, there's no racism in Italian football, we all know that. Possibly there may have been some pressure from certain people at Fiat to avoid kneeling, and Giovinazzi, Leclerc and Raikkonen were all on the fence enough to just not want to upset them. But of course Vettel chose to take a knee, and given his position in the GPDA, as well as his colossal falling out with Ferrari in the last couple months, he obviously wasn't swayed if there was any internal pressure. Once again, I can only really speculate on this until the drivers want to say more, but I think there could be a possible connection there. In conclusion, how does this make me feel and how does it affect my perceptions possibly on some of these drivers? I've loved that for my whole life F1 has been an escape from politics and a lot of the misery of the real world. I've never really before made any association between drivers on track and their own personal beliefs. They've always been, I haven't even considered them. Um, but for all the people concerned about wanting to keep politics out of the sport, I genuinely can't help but feel the drivers that stood yesterday are the ones dragging politics into the sport. And I feel that things like the hashtag following uh, Max decision stand, as well as his support of Gert Wilders by following him on Twitter, is just pouring petrol onto this issue. The drivers that didn't kneel, I feel, also expose their privilege or potential links to politics or people that I find abhorrent and have no place in Formula One. While drivers from similar backgrounds to them, or with their own high-profile sponsors that might have possibly ejected, chose to take the knee. I think, in total, F1 bungled a huge opportunity to present a united and powerful front against racism, which many other sports have managed to put together in the last couple months. I think the drivers that stood went directly out of their way to harm that matter, and I think it really just makes the sport look silly. In theory, one should be able to express their support for fighting racism in any way they see fit, but all it takes is to just take a quick look anywhere and you'll see that drivers that stood are being championed by complete, just flag-toting idiots spouting either dog whistles or outright awful racist diatribe. Whether that was their intention or not, they have now identified themselves as some kind of resistance to what some people perceive as an attack on white people, which it absolutely isn't. Moving on, I would love to look forward to not having to worry about drivers' political inclinations again. I want to watch Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen racing their hearts out and, and making entertaining sport. But I just can't ignore it, especially when they're so publicly associating themselves with such problematic figures and then protesting in such a, what I think, unnecessary way. It really does make a mark on the sport for me. And I guess hopefully this will blow over at some point or the drivers will do something about their stance. As for the drivers that stood, you know, so many of them have said they want to be committed to fighting racism both in and out of the sport, but if they don't do anything about it, then that's really going to suck. Like, I would love to see Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen actually actively doing something about it and proving me wrong. Like, I don't want to be right on this issue. I really don't want to sit there and accuse certain drivers of being racist and have them prove me right. That would suck. I don't want racists in my sport. That's all I can say. <sighs> <sighs> okay, I'm going to be done for now. Uh, I wanted to do this video kind of as a bit of a stream of consciousness rather than a hard scripted video just because I wanted to get my real feelings across and I didn't want to kind of censor any of my passion for this subject by writing everything down too much. So sorry if this video was a little bit rambling or a little bit incoherent in a few places. Uh, as I've said, I would love to be proven wrong on this if these drivers who I've kind of accused here today all kind of come out and say with a bit more conviction why they chose to stand yesterday and prove to me that actually doing something to fight racism both in and outside of the sport then I'm very very happy to recant all my opinions I've said here today but at the same time I just want to make sure that this issue just isn't coming into my sport I do not want any racist drivers in my sport and I do not want famous people famous athletes using their platform to not fight against racism I think that sucks I, I want to see these drivers using their influence and their power to try and make this world a better place and I think by following Gert Wilders or refusing just a simple gesture like kneeling with the rest of the drivers is just completely unnecessary and just finally to conclude I'm really not interested in having a debate with anyone if if anyone is you know all lives matter crew or if anyone wants to tell me that associating with a far-right politician like Gert Wilders isn't racist i really am not interested in hearing about that because i, I hate to say it but you're just wrong right bye <laughs>